the Kogi State House of Assembly has impeached the embattled Deputy Governor Simon Achuba. His impeachment followed the submission earlier in the day of the report of the committee set up by the State Chief Judge Justice Nadi Ajana to investigate an allegation of gross misconduct against the former Deputy Governor. Leader of the House, Hassan Bello Abdullahi, representing a Jokuta State constituency who announced the decision of the House, said Achuba stands impeached after careful consideration of the report of John Bayeshe Committee submitted earlier on Friday. He said the report was received, studied and deliberated upon and a unanimous decision was arrived at to impeach Achuba and he therefore stands impeached. The seven-man committee headed by John Bayeshe submitted the report to the Speaker, Kogi State House of Assembly, Matthew Kolawole, on Friday in a brief ceremony after which the House went into a closed-door session where the report was considered and deliberated upon. The committee was set up in August following allegations of gross misconduct leveled against the deputy governor when he accused Governor Yakaya Bello of withholding his salaries and impressed since 2017, an allegation denied by the government during hearing by the committee. Joining me in the studio to discuss this development is a political analyst, Dukuchki Kako. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, it's becoming common occurrence for governors and their deputies to have this uh, dispute. What is your take? What's going on, really? I think for, for, what, is, for what has happened in Kogi State thus far, it's sad. And uh, I think it's a mockery of a democratic process. And uh, for me, the, the legislature doesn't understand what it's there to do, right? Not to add as a, not to add as a best man to the governor. And what we've seen so far is this is an issue that started between the governor and the deputy governor, and it started with the deputy governor that that, that was that just that has been pitched saying that I've not been receiving my arrears, uh, the things that I'm entitled to as a deputy governor, and that was the genesis of the issue. That was when we saw the, the, this issue first in the, uh, uh, it was on the, it was everywhere uh, on television, it was there on the radio, and on, I saw it on in, in press and every day. So for me, what, what we've seen here, yeah, uh, at the end of the day, they say they're impeaching for gross misconduct. And I've read, uh, I've gone through uh, all the top national dailies in the country. Nobody has come out to say this is it. So they just penciled everything down to gross misconduct just to kick him away. Because uh, this same guy has complained of, uh, of financial misappropriation on the governor's part and his life being threatened and the rest of them. So uh, you, you, have a, you have a legislature that is in Kogi state that has virtually done nothing to improve that state in terms of governance and the rest of them. Kogi state is drowning in debt portfolio. Uh, Kogi state in terms of their education and their health, uh, the, the health sector in that state is collapsing. The education system is collapsing. Rather. The legislation that's supposed to make laws, that's supposed to make laws that will attract investors, that's supposed to make laws that will make sure that they will checkmate the governor so that the government perform his actual duties, are busy acting as his best friend. So for me, uh, what we're seeing is not, is not democracy in action. It's just people that don't understand their basic duties as elected representatives and the governor himself that has proven to be a monumental failure thus far. But does it worry you, really, that this impeachment went ahead, considering the fact that it's just a few weeks to the end of this administration and then a new person is going to come in? Are they going to bring in a new deputy governor at this time, considering the time frame? Well, I'm worried. I'm worried because it makes a mockery of our democratic process. It makes a mockery of, of actual governance itself, all right? Because uh, uh, the deputy governor that was impeached and... Uh, Yaya Bello, they've not been on the same uh, pedestal. They've not been on the same. They've not worked together as one, as an indivisible entity. But, but, but are, you, are you seeing um, a new deputy being brought in at yeah, this the, late stage? Uh, the, 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 law, the law gives room for that to happen. So I, I feel that what is going to happen is that uh, Yaya Bello and the legislature, they'll just find somebody that will be obedient that would just be there to be a perfect yes man for, for the governor and to just be his wingman till the tenure is over. But for me, I'm not looking at, I'm, I'm looking at the whole process, how fast this was, uh, how fast they, 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 they intervened to make sure that this guy was impeached. They've not, we've not seen that kind of speed. We've not seen that kind of momentum in terms of fixing issues in Kogi State. But when it comes to settling a score between the governor and the deputy governor, they were fast because you know what they are doing there? They're just there to rubber stamp whatever the governor is saying. So for me, it's sad. And for me, it's a sad development. And no matter what anybody thinks about it, because uh, far, the deputy governor with Yahabla, when he was there, uh, when, when the deputy governor was there with Yahabla, 
We've not seen actual governors. We've not, we've not seen their, 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 they've been their first turn over and they did their second uh, second turn, right? And we've not seen we've not seen this thing translate to improving the lives of the people in Kogi State. So for me it is sad. And why it's sad is because if this legislature have done half of the job they've done now in trying to do their job over the last four years and the last eight years or so, Kogi State will be maybe a better state. I guess we have to leave it there. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for having me.